Look at this. This is so cool looking. This is just the menu, folks. Hello, everyone, and welcome for the first time to Vertigo 2. An innovative, I think, sandbox, but I think there's also a story game for VR. But that's not what I'm here for today. I actually know hardly anything about the game itself. I got it. Because, like Gary's Mod, it too has a wealth of custom content. Today I'm playing Thunder Ghost's Null Spaces, a project which they shared with me all throughout its development, and I am so sorry it's taken me so long to get to it. I intended to play this as soon as it came out, but just thing after thing kept getting in the way. But I am here now, and ready to give this a try. Now I've done a lot of VR map explorations on this channel, but it's really exciting to be able to do so in a medium that is actually built for it. A place between space and time. You walk through a door and suddenly you're someplace else. A place of weird familiarity, but something feels wrong. Something else is here, and it's watching you. Null Space is based on the concept of liminal spaces, models from Valve's Source Engine, so maybe this will be a bit more familiar than we think. Or maybe it's just becoming a bit meta in its familiarity. Ah, here we are. Ah, oh, this is so cool! This is so exciting! Being in this medium that feels so much like what I typically do on this channel, but having no idea what's really possible. Oh man, I have no idea what's really possible. It said computing AI data in the loading. And though this place looks somewhat inviting, I can't help but notice that dark window up above. And the buzz from that vending machine is already starting to get to me. There's a howling wind outside. Oh, check-in. Oh, so it actually is a hotel lobby. I was gonna say it looks inviting enough, and yet already the seating is looking a little bit strange. Hang on, can we, can we just leave? Oh, these doors do push open. Oh, I see. Yeah, we can't, we can't open these doors. We just, I guess we were on the road, starting to get drowsy, thought we could maybe lodge here for the night. And before we could even find out if they're open, our doors are closed. But as this is a new medium, uh, we should probably see what we can interact with, right? Yep, getting close, we can, ooh, we can have a look inside the garbage can. Wait, can we reach in there? Oh, there's gonna be... Uh, there we go. Nope. Grab it. Grab it. There we are. Huh. What is this thing? Oh. Uh, so this thing may look cool, maybe health, but essentially I just pulled a used needle out of the trash can. Uh, should we... Ooh. Yeah, sorry, I'm having to learn how to play the game first. I haven't even launched, like, the single player. But yeah, there we go. We can add things to our wrist slots. Oh no, we have health. Are, is there a possibility we're actually going to be in danger? Let's have a look at some of these posters. Uh, borderline Forever. Wow, that looks like an amalgamation of several movie posters I've seen, and yet it's none of them. And that looks just a bit familiar. The sound of that wind out there is really adding to the dreamlike tone of this. Oh. Oh, we don't open doors, we push a button to be transported to the next room. Uh, really trying to make me feel at home with these sounds, huh? Uh, but look. A fully stocked library, books and drinks on the table, a laptop left open and logged in. Uh, but quite an old one. Actually, this whole thing has a very late 90s, early 2000s vibe. What time is it? I don't know, you tell me, because from the look of it, it's daylight outside that window. Uh, 
Very weird when the covers of all the books seem to blend in with the texture of the bookcases themselves. Oh, there's a door back here. Uh, there's just something about walking between these aisles that makes me think I'm gonna just barely catch a glimpse of someone walking to the side just as I round the corner. Uh, does this actually work? No. Oh. Huh. I guess now we've reached the hotel. And the rushing of that wind is just ever-present, changing tone slightly. But it just makes it feel like I can't ever fully think, fully focus. It's almost a lullaby. Please leave. Normally I would... Normally I would respect that request, but I got a job to do. Oh my god. Oh, we have a flashlight that turns on in the dark. Wait. Is that attached to my wrist or my head? It seems to be attached to my head. Oh, and my wrist. I have two. I think? That's weird. It seems to be responding to both things simultaneously. But now, for the first time, the wind is replaced with... More of a droning. More of a droning, and I don't know if I like it. What is that over there? Okay, we can't seem to remove whatever's in that bin. Hello? Okay. I was really expecting there to be something there when I turned around. Let's get out of here. Oh, it looks dark even in the hallway when I look through this window. And then as soon as we step outside, it's back to normal, but it looks like we're going into the dark again. Never mind. Ooh. There's some broken glass on the floor. Wait, do mirrors actually work? Sort of. They don't reflect us, but they do reflect the room. Or maybe we're just a vampire, I don't know. Anything we found here? Ooh. Some test tubes, which we seemingly cannot remove. This claims to be the way to the exit, but I'm skeptical. Ooh. Howdy. This room is weirdly chill, like... Eh, but then again, maybe, maybe it's best if we don't stay here. What is that substance that is seeping out of the vents? Maybe that's the point of this. Maybe it's supposed to calm our nerves so that we sit down and rest our eyes for just a little bit. This whole place seems to share a common theme, at least, of hospitality. But to what extent can we really trust that? No, 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 no. Why is this everywhere lately? Why am I starting to see that sun, that not sun, everywhere I go? Oh no, oh no, oh no, it literally is, it literally is Void Place. I had forgotten, Thunder Ghost, I had forgotten that you were involved with these. I see you, Jimmy. Or at least the cutout that I had dubbed Jimmy. Let's go. Oh no, the source is bleeding over in more ways than just sound assets. I don't know what it is about an all-white, brightly lit room with the sounds of an electrical hum that's so unnerving to me. 
like in a bad way not even in like a not even in like a dreamlike way it's almost like the dream part is being suppressed by that buzzing like i am hyper aware of the lack of anything to perceive locked one of these days i'm going to turn around and see something peeking at me through one of these windows i just know it Hello? Oh. Can we do something with you? No. An entire stairway just for this TV. Alright, well there's another stairway back this way. These lighting transitions just, they rack the nerves like no other. We're in a school now. Okay, well, this is the opposite of hospitality. There's a clock over there. We can find out what time it is. Hmm. 8.24? Maybe we can go tell the text in the library. Maybe it'll be grateful, have some reward for us. Nothing here. Nothing here. Something there. Where am I? Wait, so have other people been through here before? Behind you! Okay, maybe... I had already looked in that direction. I saw you. I saw you moving. Oh my god. Okay, so it's going to be one of these, is it? Hang on. Uh, milk. Milk, milk, milk. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. And you stay that way. You know, there's something really bad, not only about making me look and doing that to me, but also about having it not be the image I was expecting. Something that should be much more benign, and yet it has all the impact, as if that's exactly what was staring at me. You know, I'm starting to see a pattern emerge, all of you just, like, staring at me as if judging. Oh, hey. In all that excitement, I hadn't even noticed we had formed some kind of meeting circle. With some very familiar looking chairs. Nothing in here. Was that a warning from somebody who came before me? Or is that the place itself messing with me? Hi. Oh, it's just you, ghost. Well, this place looks alright. A bit... Truman Show in its presentation, but certainly comfy. I I'm down with the idea of just turning on the TV, catching some sleep on the couch, and uh, hoping whatever comes and gets us does so in our sleep. Oh my, <laughs> reality outside is looking kind of dirty today. Here, let's uh, just clean that up. I'm just waiting for the day I'm going to see something peek around one of these corners. Ooh, video games. And somebody who I get the impression is really good at video games. I mean, you can just tell. Ooh, ooh, what is this? This looks sort of familiar. Ooh, it's a PS1. Hmm. Oh, it's, uh... Yeah, this guy. I can't remember his name, but yeah. Is it Gex the Gecko? Wow, yeah, it really just is, like... 2000 The Room. <laughs> or rather, The Room We All Wish We Had in 2000. Are there different substances? No, it's all milk. Milk and lab equipment. Hmm. Actually, we've been seeing lab equipment all over the place. I'm wondering... 
Maybe some of the people who have stayed here before us have been people who were trying to research it? Is this place maybe known outside of, well, just kind of appearing in our path one day? I don't feel like I want to be checking out these branching paths just yet. An elevator. I don't know why I just got jump scared by the elevator I opened. But it seems like the path up there is actually completely collapsed. Oh my, this place is going to be huge, isn't it? I mean, there's still those two doors we didn't look at down in the lobby. Well, the fresh air is nice at least. Vertical squared. This whole thing does feel aesthetically like a Dell commercial from the early 2000s, doesn't it? Even more familiar faces. Existence is vain. Is that what this place is? A protest against existence? Oh, here, let me, let me what are your plans for you? I hope this doesn't run out. Well, let's start taking these one by one, then. Hey, you can do that, because you're public domain now. Do the backrooms care about copyright? Yeah, they don't care about Sony's branding, that's for sure. Oh no. Oh no, it's a playground at night. The worst thing. Like, the... Pitch darkness. You just never expect it in a setting like that. You can't be ready for it. Is there something up there? Oh my... It looks like I can probably climb these things. Maybe use them? Four? What do you mean, four? <gasps> I just saw- those are eyes! Those are undoubtedly a pair of eyes watching me from the- oh my god. The, the closer I get and you don't disappear, the more I feel like I'm maybe gonna need these? No, no, stop, stop, stop with my lights. Why are my lights going away as I get closer to you? Screw that. Can I put this in my thing? I can. Well, I don't care about you, Mystery Watcher. I am going to have fun, whether you like it or not. Yep. 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 Look, we're having, we're having fun. We. Oh, don't act so stoic. You were a kid once, too, I assume. Uh, is there anything else we can play with? Any way we can get up here? Maybe if I can, like, toss something and hit it? Oh, that didn't work. It really is like a bad dream. Like, one of those ones where you know something is there watching you, but you just can't, like, do anything or tell anyone about it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with that. I think I just have to... Leave and forget we ever saw it. We were told we weren't alone, and it wasn't kidding. Nice alien fauna you've got growing in here. But it all just looks and feels like an art gallery. These branches blowing in non-existent wind. What's around that corner? Oh good, it's just rocks. It's just... In that moment, I realized that even in this brightly lit space, made for viewing pleasure, something could be hiding. Locked. You claim to be an exit. 
I don't particularly believe you. That's what I thought. That's not- okay, goodbye. Later. Later, taters. Oh, what is that? Oh, I guess I have the ability to teleport. Uh, I typically use regular locomotion, but we'll keep that in mind for if some horrible monstrosity starts chasing us. Alright, uh... Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. Okay. With that context in mind... We're certainly not safe, but I'm starting to think that it's not as overwhelming as I thought, which is good for us. Before I take this elevator, I'm gonna head back. And I'm gonna try to see the other stuff in the lobby. There is so much more to this than I thought. Was this meant to be my proper greeting to this? <laughs> because this whole setup has real we've been expecting you vibes. There doesn't seem to be any interaction here. I'm just gonna, you know, head on out this way uh, and procrastinate in dealing with you for as long as possible. Oh no, there's just, uh, just when I thought we were done being overwhelmed, there's just doors, doors, doors in all directions. But this level of interactivity is a bit unprecedented. Oh, what are those? To be honest, when I play this, that's kind of how I feel. Like, I'm just this small, amusing creature being laughed at by things beyond my comprehension as I wander like a rat in a maze. You know, when I constantly go back and forth between these dark and apparently sunlit environments, I feel, even though I've only been playing for a few minutes, that... Oh my god. That days are passing- OH MY GOD! Oh, it's a mannequin. That was revealed to me so gradually. Aw, oh, that, that actually caused my spine to seize up. That was crazy. Just looking around, thinking, man, I can just feel eyes on me from those windows. Realizing that that one was 3D. And that that was distinctly an arm poking out. So not only are we being watched, something wants us to feel watched. Alright, how do we start taking this? Nothing. There's like a faint, almost grinding from the ceiling or the walls. Like the ventilation itself is struggling, and it's making the air feel so still and stagnant. Honestly, it's sort of reminiscent of, like, Cry of Fear's ambiance. Every time, every time I go down a pathway with only one way back, I'm always going to be expecting to turn around and see something there. I mean, it's been established we're being followed, right? This gives me the impression that I probably shouldn't stare directly into it for too long. It's even reflected in this window all the way back here. This actually does have, for all of its liminality and for all of its actual somewhat hostility, it's weird, we do occasionally come upon these little safety bubble comfy rooms. With only one way in and out, all the amenities we could need. I think that's a mini fridge right there. 
<laughs> and all the I Spy books we could want. That way we can pass the time while we survive on milk and whatever else is in these bottles. No. Oh. You just turned off right on my way out. Did I perhaps miss something right behind me? Maybe the comfy room isn't as comfy as I think. Maybe it's more of a trap. Let us be gone. Nothing. Something. Oh, it's like a subway station. Oh no, 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 an airport terminal, upcoming flights. Okay, where are you taking us? Uh, I can't, I can't read any of that. And it, I know I keep saying it, but it adds to the dreamlike nature. Like the information that could give us context is right there, but we simply cannot make it connect. That difference between seeing and comprehending. No. No way. No way! And that's a ladder. Uh, my arms are doing funky things, but I don't know if there's any way for me to get down there from here. You know, I've said it before a long time ago, but I, I do feel a strangely antagonistic connection to Liminal Hotel. It was probably one of the first, if not the first, liminal space maps I explored on the channel. And, I don't know, every time I come across it, it seems it's always at the end of a long string of nightmarish places. And it's almost like it's taunting me, like you always find your way back to me, don't you? It may be an airport terminal, but downstairs is flooded like a subway station. Where am I again? Uh, oh, look at those ripples come out from under us. As soon as we stop moving, uh, a dark end over there. Uh, being able to hear my own footsteps is the worst. It makes me feel like I have to keep stopping and listen for something moving behind me. He's watching. I bet. I bet. What is that over there? There's like a little cutout. Hang on. This is such horror movie schmuck bait. Is there... I didn't even realize I was climbing into the pool. Oh! 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 We actually were able to squeeze through that narrow little gap. Oh, I thought... I, I honestly thought there were, like, red spider eyes looking at me from down that tunnel. Okay, I'm crouched so low right now, it's unbelievable. Makes me feel like I'm practically drowning already. Can you swim? I can. Oh, no. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. We'll come back to you later. We'll come back to you later. I am not ready for that. I mean, why are we coming back at all? Curiosity? A uh, need to challenge ourselves to see this through to the end? Simply look at that and tell me that that's a good idea. We do have to see what's down this way. It's eternity in there. I think you might actually be moving slightly. You're not a mannequin. Okay, we're not going that way. We're not going that way. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. 
I'm sorta of used to turning around and seeing things peek around a corner, but to have something just blatantly standing there staring at me from so close... the conference room on the edge of eternity. I don't know why this is such a weirdly nostalgic image. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before in my life, but somehow it seems to be universal. Oh, what? Somebody got their 7-Up and just left? Was that me? Or was there something else just now? There was a hole here. It's gone now. Silent Hill 2 references now on top of everything. But now it's like dreams of grandma's house. That toy box feeling. The Fulbright look of it. It feels like some place I might have known in childhood and yet it's not a place I've ever seen before. Okay, I just, uh, I feel like I'm getting so far away from things that I want to go back and look at. That's twice. That's twice now we've had an image of a smiling face and blood from the eyes. Did somebody try to barricade this door? Well, I guess it's still working. There's hints. There's hints that others came before me. But then again, is that really what I'm seeing, or is it all part of the show? Because I cannot shake the feeling that I'm being toyed with. Aloft, how cozy, and therefore feeling like it's specifically meant to bait me into thinking it's cozy. Nope. Nothing. Which means we're done here, but of course it's not lost on me that even a locked door can be a potential trigger. Okay, where are we going now? Other parking lot equals exit? Was somebody mapping this place out? Can we really not take one of these cars? I mean, that one appears to be running. At least the headlights are on. I don't think those are going to work, although they are pushable. So if we come across another parking lot, we should be, we should be very mindful that there could be some way out? Maybe people are all we need. Is this an elevator? Hang on. It is! In... Elevator, which leads me only to the ceiling. Well, if I'm ever chased by eldritch beings, I can always just kind of lock myself up here and watch them skitter around the floor while I just kind of die of dehydration. So that's one career path in this game. Maybe we can go lower? No, I don't think so. Oh, there's another door in the back of God's waiting room. And there's more of that stuff being, ooh, pumped in. Look at this. 
Do you hear that? I can hear like the echoes of kids like running around and playing in the pool. Note that that doesn't say wet floor, it only says danger. Unspecifically. Flavor fluids. Viscous lemon, water, water too, bio cola, and Nutrijuice. Nutrijuice seems the least likely to kill me. Hello? Oh, do I need. Ah! Uh, ah, uh, they're not just video game vending machines. I actually have to insert funds? Oh, this whole place is a scam. Sorry, I was just looking around in the bins for loose change. Yeah, unlike many liminal space maps, this doesn't really feel like no one's ever been here. There's science equipment left about, lots and lots of drinks, overturned chairs. You really do get the impression that either everyone recently scattered or more likely, the feeling I get is that many people have been through here, probably by themselves or in very small groups. But the timing of that could be very far between. Well, look, we're here. We might as well give it a try, right? I mean, how are we ever going to live with ourselves if we went to the back rooms and didn't even use the water park? <sighs> That's like going to Canada and not even being nice to a grizzly bear. Yep. Oh, wow, we are still climbing this thing. Oh, uh, and for as big as it looks like from below, it seems so much worse from above. All right, let's do it. Also, is it just me, or did I get a lot whiter between now and the opening menu? I honestly haven't been paying attention. Yep. Oh, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Look at this! This would tear you to shreds. There's not even water on it. Thank goodness. Ah, this is the most hostile looking water slide I've ever seen in my life. It's literally a friggin' blender. Oh, we actually are sliding now. Oh no, here's the water. I see shadows and they're not mine. Well, now that we're wet, this is actually a good opportunity to learn how swimming works in this game. Ahead of that great dive we're gonna have to take. I see shadows and they're not mine. I'm starting to know the feeling. This is pretty cool though. Look at that. It's subtle, but it's like I'm actually bobbing and floating a bit on the surface of the water. Alright, uh, here. Hmm. Okay, so the direction of our travel seems to be dependent on the direction that our hand is pointing. Alright, good to know. I really hope it's not too cold and damp in, in, the, in the... I really hope it's not too cold and damp in most spaces. I mean, imagine getting hypothermia. Imagine that's just cold air being pushed in. Now that would be a true tragedy. I kind of feel like we're being presented with a choice here. Nothing more binary than red and blue. I'm hearing noises I really don't like. Let's double back. God, just... I don't even know what the fear is, this giant thing towering over me in the relative darkness. All I know is I want to stop looking at it right now. I mean, just look at this thing. There's... I... I, 
I feel like that's like the minimum limit of what I would be able to do in a dire situation in real life. And if it were longer than this, no freaking way. I, I hate, I hate tight, narrow spaces so much. If this weren't just a small gap to squeeze through, this would be worse than the Tunnel of Nope. I've really gotta duck my head. Oh, this is about to get so bad for us. So, so bad. Like, this is a literal nightmare scenario. You agree, right? Like, I almost can't think of anything worse than this. Claustrophobic, dark, and underwater. All right. Uh, uh, oh. Okay, that was mercifully short. I expected that to be so much worse. All right, let's stand up. This is a nice change of pace, although this water is oddly murky for how blue it is. Which kind of makes me wonder if this is actually water. Also, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting you can see the edges because this isn't Gary's mod. You're doing this whole thing under blacklight because, of course, you just couldn't help yourself. All right, fine. Are we gonna get a flashlight? Are we gonna get a flashlight? I do not like this at all. Why is there carpeting on the walls here? Is it meant to be like covering windows? And what are you? Oh, you're like a snowman made from like, I, I don't know, yarn or something? Like some kind of snow yarn man. Let's hop over you. The darkness continues. Locked doors are good. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Look at the size of that. It's like industrial sewer pipes, but it's presenting like a water slide. I wonder if there's jagged on the inside is the other. I don't think we can actually get up there, although there is a door. No, 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 there's gotta be, there's gotta be a way to jump, right? All right, yeah, it's not letting me teleport up there. Oh, I'm giving the dark, hazy expanse beyond those railings. I think maybe I'm not supposed to be able to get there. Ugh. Those ripples, they never fail to freak me out. Okay, well, then in that case, this door might be our only way out. Oh my god. Immediately we've gone into, like, the most hostile possible feelings from, like, Silent Hill or something. What an abrupt transition! The loud splashing, the red hue. And only for a few seconds at a time. Like a stab of violence that is totally disconnected from what came before and after. Actually, quite a variety of types of water. Like, this is so... Weirdly, like, milky looking. Ooh, in fact, maybe. It might take a while for us to make a difference at this rate. Oops, oh no. Bobbing for Easter eggs, then. Okay, I don't think there's anything down there. All I know is that I feel so vulnerable when I'm in the water. 
I realize how slow I am. How helpless I am if someone were to come in and decide to do something to me. Oh, I can use it on these surfaces. Huh, which means... I may be able to get down this way. Oh no, it's dark. Flashlight, please. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. I can climb this... spiral staircase... and see more things in the dark over there. I see what you're doing. It's all, it's all a ruse. A painted ceiling made to mimic stars in the sky that would have been my salvation. Yep. There seems to be a very deliberate attempt to crush all hope in a place like this. Oh God, why is it such a nightmare scenario being all alone in the dark in a large body of water? I'm gonna hit that other door first. Alright, I've been trying to take the smallest branching paths first. Is that where the kids get meshed into a fine paste as they slide down here? Look at that! Look, there's just a, a regular old, like, house window in the wall here. Curtains drawn, making my imagination run wild as to what kind of room is beyond and who looks out. There's something... I think part of the horror of spaces like this is just the throwback to imagining what, what's beyond the sets of, like, children's shows, you know? Like, as a kid, you have the thought of, like, yeah, I'm so used to seeing this place that's all bright and cheery, but if I- but you know that if you were to just, like, turn the camera a little bit, peek beyond that entrance that you see all the time, just what is beyond there, and why aren't they ever showing you? I just can't catch a break with this map. Oh no, it's the- it's the corner room. It's the corner room, and to make matters worse, we're waist-deep. You know, I feel like being waist-deep in water is just, like, a modifier to all things. Just, like, plus 100% badness of the horror situation. Especially since in real life, you'd be able to, like, feel your legs pushing against it, knowing that there's only so fast you can run. Every once in a while, in my own splashing, I think I hear, like, watery gurgling. Oh no, oh no. Sometimes the- sometimes the movement gets away from me. It does things I don't want it to do. No! See? Here, just look at how tall these ceilings are. The way these lights just kind of fade off towards the top. It's all just like... Every time I think I'm walking down just a small, narrow area, and it opens up to something like this, it just feels so overwhelming. What was that sound? I can't tell if this discordant soundtrack is supposed to be soundtrack or if there's something down here. I 
think it's supposed to be in universe. I think it's coming over these speakers. At least I can look down that way and still see stuff. Six. I obviously am supposed to be hitting you. But then how was I meant to get at that other one? Maybe I could have used the teleport to jump up? Okay, you're open. What does that do for me? Uh, I passed by so many of these things. I'm gonna have to do so much backtracking. Okay, we are getting out of here. Now, what was behind door number two? A whole lot of darkness, that's what. And our old friend peering at us from one of those slides. A slide that ends in quite an abrupt drop. Oh my god! Oh, that's the shadow from the railing. I thought there was something standing on the ledge over there. And I don't like being aware of what loud noises I'm making. No. At first I thought it was light from above, but... No such luck, even past the artificial lights, something much higher. I'm starting to lose track of all time here. Like, I legitimately have no idea how long I've been lost in here, how far back I need to go, what rooms I need to go through, if I even can get back. We are so, so far off. I, I think this all started when I went down that tube, that underwater tube. But I just have no idea. A way out. Oh man, there's just. Ah! I'm leaving so many doors behind. It's like being left behind in an indoor water park after closing. The music's still playing, but not even janitors and maintenance workers around. I can practically smell the chlorine permeating this place. I guess it's time to get out of the pool. Look at that. The tunnel just haphazardly boarded up. It's like something was desperate to close this up, but not in any way that we would recognize as, I guess, efficient, the way the cages over some other ones are. That's the whole allure of these things. They're spaces that look so familiar, but you can't even imagine them being concocted by humans. Let's see about this. I mean, going upwards has to be a good thing, right? I say. Oh, this just comes back out right here. So we could end up here. Right, we are getting out of here if it's the last thing I do. Can you believe there's still an entire area we haven't even begun to look at yet? That area with the TV and like the ballroom? Nothing. Please be something. Thank you, that was my last hope. What is it about a row of chairs with just their legs submerged in the water? Ah, oh, that's a thought I hadn't even considered. Imagine the discomfort of sitting in this. Just in the dark under the stairs and the neon glow of these coated lights.
You know, it's times like this I'm actually kind of glad we're sealed off from there. Look, there's even curtains. It's just the wetness of this, the wetness of so much of this is what's getting to me so badly. Imagining my legs in the water while sitting on the chairs. Imagining the water seeping in to just the bottoms of these curtains. It's like slightly wet socks. Someplace familiar? Had we missed this? Whoa! But we have made it out! We're back to here. Oh. It is almost hard to describe what a relief it is to see something familiar after spending so long down in the dark. Look, I know I draw the dream comparisons a lot, but it really is such a big part of how my mind works. And this felt like one of those dreams where it, you feel like hours and hours, a lifetime is passing, just languishing in the dark trying to accomplish some impossible task. And just all at once you wake up and realize you've only been down for a half hour nap. We've got to go back though. We've got to see what's behind those doors. We actually can't go that way. We should take that elevator. I mean, we're in the neighborhood, right? That's a whole bunch of buttons. And they're totally unlabeled. I'm just gonna let the elevator do what the elevator wants. How about that? Oh, I was not prepared for whatever this is. This must be above the collapsed portion of the staircase. Well, I'm glad we care about continuity of environment. Oh, what is this jumble? From the look of it, it continues quite a long way, but the lights do not. There's only one thing we can do, then. You know, it's strange. A lot of these... A lot of the images that we're seeing are things that I've seen in Source before. But every engine sort of has its own feel to it. I'm not sure what this one is, but all I can say is that it's very strange seeing a familiar setting, but it isn't. Huh, speaking of different engines, though... This, look, it's not exactly the same, but this sort of reminds me of myhouse.wad. I mean, this does give the impression of your friend's house growing up. All these things, like such specific feelings, that probably apply to most everyone, even though they're not actually places we've seen, and that's, that's the most bizarre part to me. I was really expecting to turn around and see somebody in the window there. I'm dreading going back to that playground. Oh my god! Oh! You actually hit me with the one-two. The scare, the relief, and then realizing I was wrong to be relieved. That thing is 100% following me. It's an entity just like any other. Yeah, of course you don't. Of course you don't. <sighs> I'm starting to wonder if that cutout isn't even more threatening than the dark figure. Every time there's a locked door, I expect to turn around to find a new friend.
I should really just be picking up objects ready to beam the first thing I see, don't you think? All these office cubicles creating so many blind corners where somebody could be hiding, crouched under a desk. And all falling off to the darkness in the back. What are you looking at? That's not regular office equipment. Huh, maybe it's the FBC that's keeping tabs on this place. Well, I mean, I'm carrying my beaning cup. No. So does that mean that you won't open? If you did, that would be even weirder. Well, here's our comfy room. There's always got to be one in these areas. But man, seeing that logo everywhere, I'm pretty sure that's the actual logo of the game. Which is why I haven't really thought much of it. Hmm. Well, all good things have to come to an end. And it looks like we're taking the elevator back down now. Oh, wait. What about this door over here? Ah, uh, there's a whole lot. Oh, there's a whole lot. this stuff done. Oh, it's a whole thing. Just when I think we're done. There's no way it's real. My god, what is the- oh my god! God, what is that thing? Oh. It's a crying seal. Why not? Uh, interesting take on this, having this impossibly tall ceiling. This is like what going to the library was like as a little kid. Only... This is actually quite a bit brighter, which makes it even more unnerving for some reason. The full brightness. I mean, shadows are one thing, but this just looks unnatural. Like an old PC game that hasn't fully compiled. You. Five. So we've got six, and we've got five. I wonder what happens when we get them all. We know where four is. But how many are there total? All right, well now, now we're coming down here. Look at this, oh. It seems to be moving back and forth with me, or is that just an illusion? You wouldn't. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? That is the worst. We can actually step into there. Uh, I didn't know you could throw your footsteps like that. How far back can we go? This is it. Okay, I think we're done with this. Run, 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 as fast as our little hands can carry us. We are done with this place. We are leaving. 
Okay, so teleporting does work. Oh, hey, our shattered stuff is actually still remaining here. The fact that that's persistent is kind of cool. You're persistent, too. So four, five, and six. That's what we've got. Which means there's, at the very least, a one, two, and three still out here. And here we find ourselves once more. Well, the change rooms are... new. Wait, a red TV having to do with a button? Could that be the one that's around the corner in the hallway we saw before? The one that's directly upstairs? But what button? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. There's a door back here. Well, this is probably- oh, I was gonna say this is probably the best of the places to lay down and die were it not for the massive xenomorph vent open to, well, the sky, but you get the idea. The vent right next to it notwithstanding. Oh, hey, we can, we can actually wear the hard hats and pick them up. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but it's nice. What do you have to do with a button? I didn't... One to six buttons. Okay, maybe I would have been good to see this at the beginning. I couldn't quite figure out why they exist or what they do. Must be some sort of security locks or something. Hopefully you'll be more successful finding them. If you're reading this, I never escaped, and I'm most likely dead. He's watching, and he won't leave me alone. So that playful curiosity, it has a limit. All right, one, two, three, four, more doors. Three new buttons to find, but at least we confirm six is the last. So we're at least halfway there. There's something written on the wall over there. I just cannot get away from this, can I? <laughs> oh, that is so cool to see. But also feels like a direct attack. By the way, guys, I'll link in the description what that's from. That is based on something that happened to me. Or at least I think it is. I've seen references to it in other places, so maybe it's not exclusive to me. I don't know. Well, look, there's another door right next to this one. Nothing. Nothing. So it's just going to be the one in the back. No. So this is entirely a dead end, then. Next door. Oh, no. Oh, we've gone with the empty grocery store, and it is as bad as you would expect. Oh no, if we try to take shelter over by the glow of the freezers, we quickly find we can't see down the aisles anymore. But anything down there can surely see us. Oh, this is so dumb. Why am I going down the narrowest one? Why am I doing this light? Light! Light, thank you. There's two other doors. Do I try the other one first? I keep thinking I hear things. 
Come on, no, 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 no. You. What about you? Nothing? Okay. I just need- I need to be sure. <laughs> when, you, when you see me- when you see me teleport like that, that's me gripping my left controller. Is there something over there, or is that just a garbage can? Who is watching? Are you asking me to choose between the question mark and the exclamation point? As if the name of the figure watching is simply who? Why is it that the creepiest things to an adult are the things that we would have loved the most as kids? Uh, I don't see anything up here. Although we can climb up from just about every angle. I mean, admit it, you want to slide down that pole. Wait, can we? Uh, we can, but I would have to like lean over in real life to actually make use of this. A door painted like the sky. If that's not symbolic, I don't know what is. <laughs> A door painted like the sky that is inaccessible. If that's not symbolic, I don't know what is. Another dead end. Oh wait, no. If we came from here, then we haven't tried... ...this. It just exits right back onto here. This whole place is a fun house. If we're going to continue down the vein of interpreting spaces, this is a family home you know you're no longer welcome in. Hello? Well, here's two. One and three, all that remain. I really expected something to jump out of that thing right there. Yeah, I know. That's the space I'm making right now. Who's watching me? You're not glowing red anymore. I've never felt more observed. That's all. It's just so, so hostile. Was that plant there before? Well, that explains what you were referring to. And in fact, as I get closer, I can make out the detail. Okay, but there's still... One more... There's still one more room back there. And I think I know where to look. I never did manage to get there. Like... <laughs> Like an audience of no one was being briefed on an objective of nothing. You hear something just now? Like a little moan? I hope that was in game. Just imagine a story about nothing being told by no one to no one. Wait, we're back. What? I must have never even noticed this door. But at least we have a shortcut. Okay, I think we're gonna have to use our teleport to get in there. We've gotten a little bit more to grips with the controls. Let's do it. Uh, ooh. That was a bit disorienting. 
Anybody peeking from here? I almost can't describe how, how, how it feels to be standing in the shadow of this, but it's a little different. It is actually very much the toy box version. Oh, God. We've got a physical challenge here, have we? We're going to have to crawl into that very, very small space. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? I'm going to try this first before I move on. Come on. Oh, I can't, like, lean forward far enough to actually do this. I'm going to end up falling over in real life. Yeah. Nice hiding spot, whoever you are. I mean, it's certainly comfy cozy. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to feel like I took 40 Benadryls playing this. Like I said, I have no idea how long I've been recording for, but it feels like a lifetime. Nothing here. Well, except tons and tons of ammo. Man, somebody might have been surviving in here for quite a while. I wonder if it's our friend who left the note. Alright, let's do this. Man, the feeling of going from this extremely, I guess, agoraphobic space right into a claustrophobic one? Well, that's gonna be... That's gonna be something... It's a good thing I don't have any body weight to support. Oh, my hands are having to do such unnatural climbing motions to make this happen. But we're just about there. Oh, this was a mistake. Don't do that. Just... Uh, uh. Alright, put you here. And you here. Oh, this... Thirteen, one, fourteen, fourteen, twenty-five. What does that mean? Oh, great climbing in the dark, my favorite. My absolute favorite. We can go back that way. So we shall. Problem now is I have to poke my head up and do that, and a lot of the time it tries to toss me right back down. Oh, it physically will not let me move beyond this point. Then why was I even given the option? It is so dark and my lights are not- TURNING ON! I am nothing if not proactive. I ended up running into my own clouds of milk. There's another out of context clip for you. Oh no, oh no, no, guys! Well, now I'm at a total loss. I'm missing. Uh, I'm missing two buttons. I'm missing one and three. So, what do I do about that? Wait, did I ever go through this door right here? No, I probably got completely sidetracked by this. No. No, I certainly didn't see this before. Oh, hey, it's Calvin. And the Unholy Legions of the Bone Brigade. Whose fridge is this? Alright, let's grab our bean and mug. Oh, it's like some kind of dead rising mall food court. Look at this. Like all these different businesses in a food court format. Now that's a strange and original idea. I wonder if any of this has to do with with who was watching us? Do 
open forever to the static of Channel 4. Out of order is right. You guys know what I'm going to say this reminds me of, right? A little thing called the oldest view. <laughs> Look at that one little shard of glass still swirling on the ground there. Maybe I save this. Maybe I save it. Let's make sure we've got everything here first. Because it's pretty clear what the craziest thing in the area is. Door to remain locked until all security locks have been properly activated by staff. So is this our final exit as well? I know there's still got to be something to do with that red TV. Excuse me? Excuse me, Cool Cat is my Steam name! Are they trying to say that my mind is my own? That the universe around me is mine for the taking? Or are they just trying to pawn off all this paperwork on me? That is so weird. It's like, it's like learning, hey, you're the director now. That is a... This map is just full of deep cuts, isn't it? And they always come at the most unexpected of times. Everything 10% off? Well, if there's nobody here to see me do it. Everything's 100% off as far as I'm concerned. Like the pitchforks! Give me that. <gasps> okay. Okay. You know, I feel... a bit less bad about going after some rolling giants now. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so much fun. They're not going to stand a chance. Right, what else is around? We might as well stock up. This whole place actually seems to have a thing for Van Gogh. There is a door back there. Okay. We'll leave this here just for now. Nothing, of course. Alright. Let's see to it then. Wait, which of these did we enter from? I suppose it doesn't matter now. I should know by this stage that anything marked exit isn't going to be. This thing is actually pretty unwieldy. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it through here. There we go. Can we, like, perhaps... And move our other hand down a bit. We need to make sure we're in a battle-ready position. Oh, I actually can't... I can only lift from one hand at a time. That's inconvenient. All right, well, at least we've got the intimidation factor. There's but the faintest red glow coming from down there. Please swipe key card? What do you mean key card? Uh, override? <laughs> okay, we're on the hunt for a key card. I had no idea that was going to be a thing. Well, I can't actually get up here. At least I can't get it to stay up here, finally. <sighs> but it doesn't seem like this actually does anything for us. Alright, let's try these doors. You take us to these- wait! No! No, 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 no! You teleport us to these places! Well, look, I've already- I've already got this one. Yeah, this leads back to here, which is nothing. I don't think these are gonna take me to anything I haven't seen before. 
And this brings me back to here. <laughs> well, that's amusing. I have to stay away from it because it is copyrighted, but uh, yeah, at the point I truly have no idea what I'm meant to be doing. Like, I need a key card, no idea where to look. That's two buttons currently missing. You heard that, right? <sighs> Button one was right there. I couldn't even see it. It, like, <laughs> blended in with just the clutter. So that's one. We're just missing three now. Wait. It is true. Okay, so in my darkest moment of despair, not being able to figure out what I was supposed to do, well, I called for help from on high, and from on high, help was delivered. And I was told that this would not be the solution to all my troubles, but that... I could at least look here. Yes! Oh, that is so cool. If I had just looked around the side, I was thinking it would be... Somewhere- Oh my god! Alright, uh, hang on. Oh wait, can we not- Can we not go back? What? Oh my god! Uh, alright. I never would have found this had the voice not spoken from on high. But here we are. That should be our final button. I believe that's all of them. And I actually know just where to exit. Right back here. Oh! Whoa! Well, that's one type of door. A trap door. A trap door is straight to someplace very, very familiar. Come on now. Stay to the light as much as possible. That music to me is really suggesting that somebody, somebody has probably followed me. White eyes, where are you? Or was it actually real? Is this actually a way out? Just a little gift for the next person who might need it. I'm being so foolish, but I'm curious. Forget it. Let's go. Of course not. Of course not. Have I just gotten something's attention? Kinda feels like I have. I knew I'd have to do things I didn't want to. Whoa. This still doesn't look like an exit, despite glowing like an exit sign. Tell you what, I've been recording a long time. If it will let me jump down here, which previously it simply wouldn't let me do in other drops, then... Who am I to question fate? Oh my god! Oh, I had forgotten this was VR and I can feel it completely... Okay, wrong answer, I guess. We can actually see the void beyond. I guess proving simultaneously that it is and is not infinite. Well, the traversable area is not infinite. The space might as well be. Same place. Same place, same thing. Continue the search then. I did not expect there to be essentially a part two to this. That looks a nice hiding spot.
I would very, very much like to listen to all these, but... Oh, wait, no. The Thunder Goat. This might be yours. Were it not for the ambient music playing over this, this would be quite appropriate. A hiding spot within the hiding spot. Well, this is cozy, but I really should be moving on. Just how does this plant life survive? It must be all the milk I've been spraying in the air. What was that? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, please. Please, please, oh my god, you just shifted me over! Quite an epilogue, isn't it? And this image in particular is always giving me the creeps, so to see it in the end game. That's something. Oh my god, yes, I love this. Okay, never mind. I love this map. I love you, Thunder Ghost. I love this community. <laughs> uh, never mind. This place is mine now. Well, god, I didn't mean literally. I'd like to be able to leave at some point. You put me in a box. A little dollhouse. So what does happen if I go down this way? Into the breathing? I don't think I'm... <laughs> the breathing stops and I simply cannot move anymore. Okay, uh... He could not save us all. But what happens to those of you who remain? I don't like being in here, I'm just gonna leave. When you expect a trigger and don't get one, it makes you think you did trigger something and you just didn't see it. That something may have slipped in behind you. This is like a movie theater. And you're the star. Level complete! Yay! <laughs> oh, look. We're only... We're only about 80 minutes behind the creator's record. Wow. Well, I'm gonna do my part. That was really cool. And not only that, like, it's a very effective liminal space map, right? But I almost can't judge it on those merits just because I've done so many. What I really love is making the most of this new medium while still carrying over many references and the feeling of the source community in that way. It's actually a really good transition, not only because I'm coming from Gary's Mod to a new game, but also because it's so appropriate for the concept of liminal spaces. It's almost like returning home to your house after a long day of work, finding it exactly as it's always been, but just sitting down and feeling... this isn't the same place. I'm actually coming back now because Thunder Ghost actually informed me of how to access that easter egg that we were not able to get. Oh my. <laughs> when we go through here, yep, we've got to be we've got to be quite quick. Oh, there we go. And we've got it. Uh, that is like my one major or I don't even know if I should call it major, because this is just an Easter egg, but my one real criticism of this is that that was, like, very, very fleeting. If you don't know to expect it, you're going to get booted out and not be able to come back in before you even register that it's there. Uh, certainly an effective scare, though, and I do like the way it was set up. 
really, the way this map guides not only you, but your expectations throughout it is really, really well done. I mean, going into that back dark dressing room, it's so creepy and claustrophobic, and seeing that thing on the wall saying, yeah, there actually was something to that weird disconnected TV all the way back there. And you're probably not going to notice the button the first time, but that's okay, because you're going to go back and probably probe all over it. In that way, it's the kind of thing that you're almost not supposed to notice the first time around. One thing that was a little bit annoying was just that number three... That number three button is, like, so wedged in a corner. Ah, oh, can't stand it. I do like the idea of having the buttons all around because they give you a sense of progression as you go. It's actually quite satisfying hunting them all down and checking them off the list. The only reason I don't like that one is because I feel like their purpose should be to basically mark off areas and ensure that you've seen everything before going into the end game. They shouldn't by themselves be difficult to find, because the result of that third one was that I spent a lot of time wandering around after I had already seen everything. But that end game was really quite satisfying. I mean, taking us to several new places and making us feel more followed than we'd ever been before. I still am not entirely sure what happened to us in the end there. But we have one last thing to check out. <laughs> and I suppose descending this dark stone staircase is a good time to say that most of all, I love the way this map handles its scares. They were few and they were intense. And they were fairly well spaced out, but each one had proper buildup. Each one was something that, like, we had been warned about, something that we had maybe been told to just vaguely suspect might happen at some point. But sometimes it wasn't until far later that those warnings would come to pass. And there were some, like, big major scares. Other times, I can't figure out how to use this key card, but other times it was something as simple as a pair of eyes watching us from far away. There we go go? Oh wow, we actually really did have to like slide it in there. And we're about to figure out one last mystery. It really is. It wasn't just, oh my god. It wasn't just reminiscent of the oldest view. It is the oldest view. Or Thankfully, mercifully, probably just the smallest little taste. There it is, just beyond the curtain. We can even hear the music playing outside. This is a really, really cool Easter egg, and I love it so much. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's essentially like exploring in Gary's Mod but just taking so much advantage of a space that's dedicated to VR exploration, which does wonders for the immersion. The environments feel either indifferent or hostile, but it's got a few little cozy holes that it just makes you think you should curl up in. Especially the fact that I was given real estate near the end, that was pretty neat. Even though it's got a lot of classic imagery, it's also doing a lot of original architecture. And yet, it's doing so with an understanding of what makes liminal spaces work. For example, right here, you have a food court that is also like a business center. And so it's doing the thing where it's got like shades of being one thing and another, but not really either. Not to mention, it knows to always make you feel watched, but for that danger to always be unspecific. Actually, I'm realizing now this uh, carpet thing in the center is reminding me of the grounds of Liminal Hotel. Yeah, but I don't know if that's intentional or not. There's traces of other people having been through here before, but you can't tell if that's not just an extension of what the space itself is doing to you. And those sort of somewhat narrative elements go a long way towards keeping you engaged. Because wandering can very easily get boring, but with this, I always felt like... I always felt like I was doing something, you know? Like, it was almost like a large-scale escape room. I had talked about how cool it was that there were so many references to the Source Liminal community. 
And you might ask, why not just do this in Hammer then? Why bring it over to Vertigo 2? And the reason can be best condensed into that one segment where we were in the pool rooms area and the room was completely pitch black, totally vast, pillars all over and like angled archways over us. And we were just shining our light into the dark, but there was so much moisture in the air that it was catching in the mist. And so it created this sort of blinding glow around us while still feeling like we were in the dark. The water up to our waist rippling out and... It was just such a breath of fresh air to be doing this in a space that was built for this instead of being adapted to it. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. I'm in charge of this place now.